everybody. Uh, welcome to episode four of It's Never Sunny in Duskfall, a Blades in the Dark campaign uh, starring uh, myself. I'm Eric. I'm Eric Bulgaris. I'm the GM. I'm the game master here for this game. And uh, with me are our three players. Let's just go around and tell everyone who we are again and who we are in real life and maybe how to find <laughs> us, you know, an internet personas and stuff. And then we'll do a quick little recap of where we're at in the action and then jump right into it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's go around the horn here, starting with Kelsa. Hello. Ah! <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Kelsa. When I'm not knocking my arm into my microphone, uh, I play games on the internet. I'm in four ongoing uh, role-playing game campaigns on Twitch. Uh, sometimes I stream other stuff, and uh, I own way too many board games. Yeah! Impossible. It's a disease. It's a sickness. Uh, owning owning board games. It's just like owning RPG systems. It's uh, yeah. it's an addictive habit, you know. Nah, and, nah. Uh, I have it on very authority um, that uh, alcohol makes you roll better, and so I have a glass of whiskey here, so I will take a drink every time right before I roll. <laughs> that actually works because we lost every roll we made last week. No, and it was really bad. So Pretty. yes and no. Uh, we failed every roll or recruited every roll. <laughs> there were like three really yeah, important rolls and you got sixes for, and then the rest of them were like ones, twos, and threes. I watched, because I, I watched the video the other day and it was hilarious. Oh my gosh, we, we did yeah. that. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, uh, well, would you mind retelling the audience who, you, who you're playing today? And Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, I am playing Jewel, who is a hound from the Dagger Isles. Uh, she has a pet monkey that, unfortunately, uh, is currently possessed by something else. Yes. Um, she has a psychic connection with the pet monkey uh, with her playbook uh, power called... I already forgot it. Ghost Hunter. That allows me to have mind link. But unfortunately, due to a series of bad rolls and devil's bargains... Um, Something else has utilized that mind link to take over my monkey. Yes. Cool. And we'll find out how that goes yeah. in a minute. <laughs> Super excited for that. All right, cool. Paul. Hey, what's up? You're muted. You're muted, Paul. Ah, uh, when I'm <laughs> not muting myself by accident and then forgetting to unmute myself. I'm on the internet as Leafington. Uh, where I haven't done anything last week because I've just been super busy working. And I get home and I take a shower and I go to bed and then do the same thing again in the morning. It's been pretty crazy. Uh, but Which is great, but <laughs> it, it's not very relaxing. And I told my boss, like, maybe a little bit less would be good for me. Um, just a little bit, though. Yeah. Uh, though... You know, in this game, I'm playing Seer the Leech, uh, who is an alchemist, uh, who dressed up as a very pretty lady and is about to get mauled by a monkey. <laughs> as, as tradition would have it. Uh, yeah, as, as, is, as is the custom. And uh, last but certainly not least, Estaini, welcome back. How are you? Hi, I'm Estaini. I'm good. I... I'm important in Blades now because John Harper has followed me on Twitter. Woo! <laughs> Woo! When I'm not being followed on Twitter by John Harper, um, I do board games on Sundays on a stream uh, at 7.30 p.m. So if you like board games, you should check it out. Um, and I'm excited to play some Blades. Yeah, some and I play I play Vale, the slide, and I'm pretty sure the only sane one in the group. Accurate. Yeah, accurate. accurate. Definitely, definitely accurate. <laughs> cool. So, um, who wants to do? We're once again. I like doing the. Uh, I have a slight hack to Blades in the Dark, where we do. Someone can uh, offer themselves to do a prologue, and they can uh, recover um, stress for for doing that. Or so. Who wants to recap what we've what's happened uh, last session to recover a stress? I did it last time, so someone. That's has true. Done. If someone if someone has already done it, then they are not eligible. Um, twice, I, like you can't do it twice in a row. I 
Kelsa, don't you have like a crap ton of stress at the moment? I do, actually. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you should do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, the problem is, is I, I don't remember how that session started. I just remember how it ended. <laughs> what? Uh, we went, uh, we went to a party, and we had all, uh, disguised ourselves and, uh, our, uh, Nerix and her prostitutes, uh, and put on a grand show. Unfortunately, there was a, um, I don't know what the right word is for, a eccentric noble who was joining the party as kind of a last minute surprise. And we attempted to do some flashbacks, and account for his taste, and then we fucked up those roles and almost yeah. got to the party. Um, it was uh, Narcus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact... Uh, a famous sculptor. In fact, everyone was kicked out of the party. Vale managed to use her nobility to stay at the party anyway. Um, Seer uh, <laughs> pretended to faint. You didn't act... Well, Okay, there's okay, a large to asterisk to next to back. pretend because he, he did inhale Vale's trans powder. <laughs> he, he took some trans powder and fainted on purpose. <laughs> I, I feel like fainting is, yeah, exactly, is, deli is can't, you can't say faint deliberately, like you deliberately fainted. This was a tactical <laughs> not <laughs> pass out. <laughs> I'm going to knock myself out on purpose here. Yeah, um, and was brought up to a, a room... <laughs> Uh, to recover. That's so um, good. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh. Left with the rest of the crew. Um, tried to duck out and uh, do something on the side that kind of failed. So instead, send up Mr. Bubbles to climb up the side of the building and try to um, control Mr. Bubbles psychically in order to get some information. Wound up in the same room with Seer, who was scouting around and uh, they think they found something except when the monkey touched it bad things happened yep there was this obsidian box no i'm sorry it wasn't obsidian it was black uh, alabaster <laughs> that's black how you call it um with inscribed with some like arcane runes and stuff on that and yeah, yeah. and uh the monkey just went ahead and and grabbed the lid of it and as soon as it did um your kelsa's or no, excuse me not kelsa but Vale's psychic, psychic link with the monkey, with Mr. Bubbles, uh, immediately that turned is. off, no signal <laughs> detected, and uh, we see through Seer's perspective being in the room, as the monkey's eyes go from um, sort of like that psychic looking, I'm um, being controlled, into uh, I'm being controlled, but it's really evil, with like red, and uh, that sort of like stuff as, as its fangs and, and hisses and was coming at Seer. So that's where we're going to open up. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, Seer, uh, that box still looks, uh, you know, it's extremely cool. Uh, like, like temperature-wise, it's extremely cold. You can still feel like it's, like, sucking heat, like, entropically out of this room. Um, and I get to clear one stress? Yes, you did clear one stress for, for doing that, for, for the recap. I need it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I need it and, bad. I know you do. And, uh, you know, the monkey's on the desk. You're probably near, near the desk, I think, um, somewhat, because yeah. you were looking at it. And, uh, I think I was I was trying to study the box and that that botch exactly, yeah. like everything botched. Yeah, so no, that's exactly what happened. It yeah. was because of the monkey. Just yeah, you rolled a one. It. You rolled a one in your study. If we look at the roll twenty uh, chart over here. Uh, yeah. Speaking of which, I'm gonna flip us over to um, let's go over to the game screen here. Um, yeah, so the monkey is currently like Mr. Rebels is hissing at you and like coming like close. What do you do? Uh, you've never seen right. it act like this before, you know. It's, it's thinks you're a threat, right? Yeah. Um, and like I know there's like spoopy stuff going on. Uh, transpire. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Like, like to be fair, I think you need to like kind of inhale it. Like, if you just throw it in someone's face it, it's it could try nothing. to resist it yeah uh but there are some other things totally that would do that i mean so remember mr bubbles will fuck you up if you're not careful yeah it has it has mm -hmm. larger fangs than normal as i believe would is that right kelsa 
I mean, he's got regular monkey fangs, okay. but monkey fangs are huge. Yeah, I'm just thinking of like when a monkey like is hissing, it, like its lips go like way high up, and it's like canines are massive, like a yeah, baboon, yeah, totally. like kind of like that. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? Yeah, like that. Kinda, exactly like that. It's disgusting and like, scary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Uh, so, uh, I I guess I'll throw choke dust on it instead. No. <laughs> So you have choke dust? Uh, uh it, it can be in my bandolier of okay, chemical cool. items. Yeah. So All right. yeah, I totally have some. Cool. So you want to expend some choke dust here? Um, yeah. What's At that look like? With one more charge on, on my bandolier. Sure. And what's your intention here with choke dust? Uh, my intention is that I don't get attacked because of the monkey <laughs> is too busy, like choking. Pretty so, much. Uh, and, uh, so I that would be time, like, I'm, I'm sorry. So I can see what's actually in the box. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna need you to clarify something because when you say your intention is to not get attacked, that would be like resisting harm instead of like being like proactive. So like what you're trying to do is um, knock the monkey out, right? Um, like, like instead of saying what I'm trying to do is not do something, what are you yeah, doing, right? I, okay, I'm trying to buy time to actually see what's in the box. Okay. Uh, and and I feel like I wouldn't be able to do that if a monkey is trying to. Totally. So cool. What action? Up. What action are you gonna roll with that? Because that could be a lot of different things. Hmm. It's true. Uh. I suppose. Uh, like I w- I could. I don't. And I'm sorry. I don't want to. I don't want to jump on your <laughs> um what you should pick or or how I could see things. I'll wait for you to decide. Yeah. Something. Um, I mean, okay, so if it's me, it's it, it's not really tinkering with it, even though that would be my best role. It's probably, like, skirmish or finesse. One of those two. Sure. Uh, I'm, um, I'm not sure. That won't tell you much about the box, but that could certainly handle the monkey, right? Yeah, right, well, yeah. I think I need to handle the monkey. That's more important. That's why I ask what your intention is, so I can help yeah. gauge what it is. Uh, so okay, so my intention is to disable the monkey. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you have the, and you have choke powder. And I have choke powder. Um, maybe uh, yeah. like. You want to do skirmish or whatever? Uh, uh, whatever I, you, which I, one you said? Yeah, I think I think skirmish is alright, because it's like, you know, throwing stuff in people's um, face while we're sure. trying to fight or, like, posturing. Ri- yeah, fight. this is, like, the definition of risky, and uh, I think you're at, um, I would say standard, standard position. Uh, maybe great effect, because it's a monkey, and it's, like, a different size than you, right? You don't need that much of a dose. Um, I'd just say standard effect. Yeah. Risky, the old risky standard. Um, you have the Devil's Bargain with me? Oh, you want Devil's Bargain? Uh, I, it, like, kind of, yeah, because we've been rolling <laughs> like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do this job. Like, I want to finish um, just one before we all die. That's just enough. one, right? Devil, so, <laughs> so one fictionally, job. fictionally is that, um, the thing that's actually controlling Mr. Bubbles right now gets a good look at you. And mechanically, what that would be would be increasing your heat for this mission. Um, I think that's fine for me. So. Oh yeah, it's like oh, it's a problem for the whole group. That's fine. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't die, so let's continue. Yeah. It's not just the sphere problem. <laughs> oh, that's what I love about blades. <laughs> you can be so <laughs> selfish sometimes. It's a risky standard. One extra die for. Um. Double. Yeah. For the the bargain. Yep. <laughs> nice. Oh. Is a six? Uh, is that a crit though? No, it's just a regular nope. six. You really cool. needed the extra die. Good job. So <laughs> no, it happens. Um, so it works perfectly. Um, so tell us, tell us, show, uh, tell us what it looks like. You, you achieve completely. Um, you set off to disable the monkey with uh with the with the. I'm sorry, what was it? It's not trans powder. Choke dust. It's a, it's choke dust. So yes. yeah, like he's like hacking and coughing. Where where. Do you kiss the if monkey? You had, if you ever had like a, <laughs> no. no, it's like a, it's like maybe it like jumps at me and I like throw it in his face. Okay. 
and it like like disorients him and it turns around and it starts like hacking and coughing and this little monkey cough I, I don't know how monkeys cough. I, yeah. I suppose it's kind of the same. Yeah, but it's not a it's not a monkey cough. It's like a deeper, darker cough. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, right? Because whatever the thing is controlling it is, you're making it cough. And it, does it does it like yeah. grab its throat as it like passes out? Um, I I don't think it 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 like passes out. I think it's like in in a coughing fit where where it, well, maybe yeah. it feels like it can't breathe. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's trying to like. <laughs> You know, as it's like it's like, and it's like writhing on the ground, exactly. like trying to breathe. Yeah, and maybe that's why, like, it it, it can still look at me. Yeah, you so, you hear. Um, sorry, I, I want you to continue. No. Yeah, so so it sees me like immediately turn to the box instead, and like. Yeah, and it, it has like the night vision, and even though it's kind of dim, like it. Yeah, it wants. Weird. Yeah, like it wants to stop you, so it's like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and it, it, it can't. It's like writhing and it's incapacitated. Um, yeah. Yeah. So what do you do with the box? Uh, well, I'm going to see if whatever is... Because it was kind of a big box, right? Yeah, I described it about the size of like a jewelry box. Only it's very heavy. Like it's yeah. made out of stone. So I'm going to see or, what... You know, maybe like a smaller tackle box. If that's a better uh, you know, mental image of what it would be. I want to just see what's inside so I can hopefully, like, just hide it on my person and slip out. Uh, pretty much unnoticed. So and you're like, like, so you're going to open the box? I, I mean, I thought it was open. No. Uh, the lid was closed. The Aren't monkey touched like the lid, and when he touched it? the lid... Yeah, there are runes around it. That's what I'm saying. When the, the monkey never actually opened the box, it was going to, and as it was going, it this thing triggered. Um. Damn. The box is beckoning you to open it. Right? It's sitting there. Um, maybe there's some kind of like poltergeisty light coming from like the edges of the box's rim. I know? bet it is. And uh... no, it's it's fucking cold, man. It's so cold. Like you see the air, like. This room's air now is like, you know, you can see your breath. Um, it's chilly. There's maybe like, uh, um, I'm, what do you, frost. Why can't I think of, I was like, the, the ice that, when it's cold and it's wet. <laughs> frost. Uh, like frost is like starting to like yeah. condense around like the edges of the box and like the, the desk where it's sitting. Like it's cold. Um. Fuck me, man. All right. Uh, I, I'm like ripping a curtain off the wall and like throwing it over and then trying to pick it up like that. Okay. Yeah. You rip uh, a curtain off the wall and you, you wrap it up. Yeah. You have it. And, it's in your hands. And I have a massive bundle under my arm and I, I yes, just leave the room and leave the monkey to choke in, in the room. So the monkey, okay, so the monkey is just writhing on the floor. Like, as you go with the box, it's like, <laughs> You know, as as you're going, um, yeah, you, you're you're in the hallway with this box. All right. You hear this, uh, you still hear the raucous party going on downstairs, yeah. where Vale is. <laughs> um, what do you do? Uh, I, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. One second. Vale, are you still okay? Are you cool? Did you want to do anything in this in the in the interim right now? Because I know you've been um, quiet since then. I remember I had an action last week, but it's been so long I don't really remember. Um, I think I'm still just trying to... You've recovered... Here. So, it's just a... Because I know when you, uh, when you mentioned you don't remember what it was, I think what happened so far, if now if I recall correctly, you were able to pin all of this, like, problem, all your problems and why this dance was bad on a planner named um, Amelia Fontaine. Yep. And everyone, Evan, and everyone was like, oh, totally, they just bought it because you rolled, like, a crit or something. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think that was the last thing that we saw. And then we kind of um, skipped you a I little bit as we like, did stuff trying upstairs. To... So, I'm sorry, I just wanted to get, you know, yeah. you back in the screen a little bit, you know. The only thing I really remember doing is, like, she was there down there trying to, like, listen to rumors and stuff about the Magister. 
And yeah. I know that she learned, and this may be bad info, but that the magister is rumored to have a mistress. No, and I remember right. wanting to kind of press on that a little bit, like maybe... Because, like, my girls are gone, so I can't use them. But I could still kind of, like, try to cozy up to him and use my good looks and charm to see if he would be interested. And that might be enough dirt. Like, that might be a way to get some dirt on him or... Yeah, you want to cozy up to him and get some charm? Want to yeah. try to charm this out of him? Yeah. Cool. So we're at this party, and they're like they're really drunk. So like inhibitions are you know reduced. Right. So this is totally. Um, but you are still asking something that's kind of impolite, maybe. But like I said, so it's this is probably like um, risky, right? R maybe risky fool effect, like great effect, right? If this works, okay. you'll you'll get the answers that you want, right? Um. Like great effect, I guess. Okay. Um, Does that make sense? Yep. I'm just trying to decide if I want to ask for a devil's bargain or not. I'll hear a devil's bargain. <laughs> um. Uh, the guy were um mechanically more heat, um, but it's because the magister, um, will remember you when after the hangover, uh, that you asked about a mistress. I'm not asking about a mistress. I'm trying to get him interested in me as a mistress type thing. Oh, I'm completely, I completely misheard. I thought you were trying to gather information on the mistress still. I'm I mean, sorry. I kind of am, but more indirectly, like, are you actually open to having a mistress? Are you leaning that way? And I'm trying to use oh. my appearance and I'm trying to flirt with him to see if, you're, like, yeah, you're how much back and if he's like no i have a wife or whatever. oh yeah no okay i got it now i got it um so yeah. i kind of want him to remember me yeah okay that's not that's yeah that's not a good devil's bargain no um <laughs> hmm. i don't know guys you guys anyone have a devil's bargain for this um hmm what if it's something like someone else at the party notices this and it's going to use it against us maybe it's just heat i don't know yeah okay there's more heat um i i i got maybe one if uh um what's his face the other the pimp guy daddy oh the sander yeah, it's Teddy. gonna be super pissed off at you because you're smooching up to another guy. And <laughs> oh! Yes, yes, I'll take Hell it. Yeah. Hell That's yeah! Hell yeah! That's so good. I'll take yes. it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, the Lysander is, is is a little jealous. <laughs> I love it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank so you, Paul. That's a great is, one, man. That's really it's good. It's risky, but great effect. I get one extra die for my devil's bargain, and I'm swaying. Because I'm totally buttering him up. I'm not actually interested in him. Yeah. <laughs> There's where the good rolls now. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Well, I would hope I would roll well with four dice. Right. Well, we Jeez. rolled six dice and got less than a... We got a three, right? <laughs> I know. So, uh, yeah. Um, so this works perfectly. <laughs> um, so your intentions were to try to feel out whether or not the, um, the magistrate was looking for a mistress, right? That was your intention. Right. And you're so you're flirting with him. And of course, Lysander overhears it. And um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, you get you get the sensation. Um, he maybe I don't know how forward you are. But uh, he brings up that you're not his type. And that he's maybe a little, and he says, he, you know, he's he has someone in mind. Like, he has a paramour. Okay. Um, I would probably try to press that. Right, like, I know. No, so so you got a six, right? So you would, you accomplish yeah. this, but uh, I'm just telling you, 
he has a paramour and feel you don't have to roll to like get this extra information like we can i feel like this is still part of you getting a six i just don't okay. know how much i want to divulge to you and i want to give this kind of like a maybe like we role play it a little bit or uh, okay. you know or like maybe you just ask me what questions you really want to get to know more about you know prodding. i'm done with role playing i haven't okay. i haven't yeah. been veiled in a while right. yeah like i, I, I don't want to yeah right i mean we're um, playing a role playing game <laughs> yeah I, we kind of are aren't we so I, I know, right? yeah um yeah so so the magistrate goes like oh you when if i was younger uh you would be um you'd be quite the the catch miss but uh alas in my in my ages uh my heart is you know took into other things um oh you must be speaking about your wife um he he like chokes on his drink right (laughs) and goes oh uh heavens yes uh my my wife um cassandra yes she's uh so lucky so i'm so lucky to have her i'm writing that down (laughs) of course though this is duskfall you know and i'm sure no one would really think it amiss i mean a man has needs and uh i think he mentions like oh if you uh please if you like the way you talk, uh, you'll get me in trouble with with my wife, like how I got in trouble with my first wife. Oh, you've been married before. Yes, it was. Um, she was my. I don't want to say truest love. I don't know what the word though is. Right? It's like soul. Like like yes. Uh, we, me as a young boy, uh, she, you know, she was the closest I've ever come to a soulmate. You know, before I met Cassandra, but. What happened with your first wife, then, if she was practically your other half? Well, I mean, I <laughs> please, I believe, we might be siring the mood here, but, uh, yes, she passed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. On a journey to the Dagger Isles, yes, it was deeply upsetting. But to life, as, as the Church of the Ecstasy of the Flesh would say, it is, it is about today. And tonight, for we are young. <laughs> and then he's like, "So let's set this world on fire." And like everyone's like, "Set the world on fire." Uh, yeah. So does he have a mistress? Like, I feel like he co- actually. He does. Okay. Cause, but he's uh, talking a lot about his first wife. True. So he does have a mistress. I'm gonna get rid of that yes. as poor quality information because yes. now fans have a mistress. What is his name again? Oh, um, your friend was uh, Magister Colburn, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, what I wrote no, down no. here was, I'm sorry, what? Colburn. Colburn is our, our target. Okay. Oh, Colburn was a target. Oh, then who was the Magister that got you guys into this party? Uh, Rowan or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, Reagan. Yeah, Rogan. Roland. Oh, Roland? Okay, yeah. I wrote it down wrong. I, I had Rogan. Yeah. Ro- or maybe I just can't read my handwriting. Uh, I'm gonna Which is it totally down. reasonable. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So your information is certainly not poor quality anymore. He has a mistress. Okay. Um, but he's talking a lot about his first wife. Um, he's... He's what? Where? You, um... Yeah. Like, he knows a l- like he's still obsessed with his first wife. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> you okay. were right one about one thing, Miss. It is duskfall, <laughs> and uh, and I think he he goes over and, and leaves. But yeah, he gets you get the impression that you get the impression like he, his first wife is his mistress, right? Okay. Oh, I gotcha. Like, there's she's like ghost. he's never forgot about his first wife, <laughs> or or she's a ghost who is possessing another person, and that's his mistress. That's my theory. That's my theory too. So I'm working theory, so so I'm... on the same page. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm good. Carry on. <laughs> okay. 
so we go back up. I think we're going to flash back over. Kelsey, was there anything you wanted to do with Vale? Or... Uh, I mean... How with, do you with... feel about the disconnection of your monkey? Have you ever not had this before? Like, have you ever... Um, has this ever happened no, to you? No, I think I haven't. Yeah. I think I'm kind of upset. And I think that's part of it is, like, I'm at a loss. Like, I don't I don't know what to do. This has never happened. This yeah. doesn't happen. We, we formed a bond. And I don't know what's going on. So I'm worried. Um, am I worried enough to go back in there? I think so. Like, I think I'm going to try to get back into the party. Yeah. Like. Okay. I, um, well, there's definitely guards in the way. Um, the ones that ushered you through the door uh, the first time, um, they're, you know, they're there. And they're going to be like, miss, you can't come back. Yeah, is there another way in, like, that I could... Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, you're... Your monkey climbed the wall and got into a window. Right? Yeah, you, like, climbed over, like, an ivory retaining wall kind of thing. Um, crossed a small little, like, maybe, like, a ten-foot wall and then went up some stones. So up, like, a, you know, imagine, like, a stone colonial manor kind of house. Um, yeah, and you, you just you crossed the small little courtyard and scurried up the, the wall into a second-story window. Nothing. Yeah, can I possibly get in the same way? I'm not very good at climbing, actually. Oh. This is a really bad idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that would be a... Yeah, no, you want to you wanna climb... So you want to go across the... Um, you want to go over the wall, through the courtyard, and up the side of the building into the second-story window. Unnoticed. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, that would be... Um, what's, what, that would be a, definitely a roll. Um, what 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 role are you thinking? I'd like it to be hunt so that I can follow in the monkey's footsteps, but I feel like that's really pushing it. Um, yeah, I would say that would be like limited effect or reduced effect, like hunt. Mm. Um, hunt, yeah, like getting. Um, I don't have any stress left, and I, well, I've got not enough stress left. Fudge. Um, maybe easier for me to break in. Let, uh, can I roll a survey to find a better way in here? Oh, totally. Are you gonna That's... like just take on like a uh, what do you call it, an inconspicuous stroll around the manor? Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, like around the yeah. building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, all right, I need uh, my... Controlled? Controlled standard? Controlled um, standard. Possible consequences would be um, someone asks you what you're doing. Obviously. Okay. Um, let's roll it. Four? That's a success. Okay. Um, remind me again, what was your intention? You were trying to find more information about where to get in here? I want to find a way into the building that is not guarded or involves climbing. Uh, so, like, a first story window I could get in. A servant's entrance that nobody's using. Um, that doesn't like, involve climbing. Uh, like, uh, somebody's, like... The only like, other... The solarium doors that are normally locked out to the patio where they take brunch on on or they where they would have taken brunch on sunny Thank days you. before the catastrophe happened. Tux Tux has the right idea. Um, there's two ways of doing this, but when you say not involved in climbing, um, the only other way, unfortunately, there's no there's just like no <laughs> other way in that's not guarded. Um, there's a back okay. door like near the gardens, but that also has a guard has a sentry stationed at it. Um, so your options here would be um, perhaps maybe navigating your way through the sewers um, and coming up through the building, but that's still kind of like climbing. But eh, um, I mean, you might be like able to over. You know, yeah, exactly right. And then the the second one would be um, going to like a nearby building and like Assassin's Creeding your way like into that, <laughs> or like Jason Bourne off like the roof, and you know what I mean. Rule prowl is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> then you probably you probably your best bet would be the sewers. All right, let's do the sewers. Right. Then. You, so since you can't you, since there's no good way to get in without climbing around, you have to either go from above or below. 
Okay, uh, sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, so let's do this then. Um, so you want to um, find a sewers entrance. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what your survey answered, right? You find... Oh, yeah. yeah, there's totally... You find a grate in the sewers, right? Um, and but, I'm totally uh, fine with, like, I have to get dirty to do this. Yeah. And that and, it, and or it's going to take extra time, but I, I'd like to be able to get in, you know, to get in there, basically. Yeah. No, that's totally fine. Um, so here's, here's the consequence for rolling a four, though. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, you make it fine. Just fine. Um, oh, yeah. I think, I think it's the... Um, I think the monkey uh, shakes off the choking powder. <gasps> oh, no. That's the consequence. Okay, that's fine. If you don't mind having fine a consequence not be necessarily to you, but just as oh, no, no, fictionally no, bad. Not... <laughs> no. Right? I, I believe in consequences. And, of my and by the way, sorry, guys, <laughs> if you hear like weird sounds coming from like my side of the microphone, it's uh, Seafair... In Seattle, so there's like fucking F-18s flying around outside. <laughs> uh, I, I asked them to stop, but they don't think. <laughs> right? Hey, I'm playing Blades in the Dark over here. Yeah, you might be able to hear that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's freaking fighter jets. Oh, right. So. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Anyways, um, yeah. So that's that's the consequence, right? That okay. basically that that clock finishes up. All right. So yeah, well, you make it into the sewers, no problem. I'm on my way in. I'll yeah. be there soon, sir. Um. Yeah. Do I, get, I mean, do you know oh, this? Do you, do you know the sewers of Charter Hall? Um, a little bit. I mean, we already did some exploring around the sewers before. Yeah, but those were not the sewers of Charter Hall. Those are the sewers of Six Towers. True. Charter right. Hall is the fancy district. Um, they got fancy you have sewers. you have fancy okay. sewers in here. <laughs> can I? Like statues All right, I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm trying to hunt again, but can I? Like, even though I can't make a connection with Mr. Bubbles, can I? Like, can I? Like, feel him and like. Oh yeah. That feeling. Oh yeah. And so I use that to navigate the sewers to where I need to go. Yeah, you're. You're. You can like. You can connect. So what? Ha what's going on is that you can like ping. Um. His like the Mr. Bubbles computer, like you know his brain, like you can, it's getting to him, but it's like, it's not returning back to you, uh, uh -huh. like, uh, like the connection is isn't there, like, but you can totally like radar him, you know what I mean? Does okay, that make yeah, sense? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use to. I'm gonna hunt him. So I'm down in the sewers. I don't know where I'm going, mm -hmm. except towards Mr. Bubbles. Through your like mental echolocation <laughs> or mental mental echolocation. Of, right, uh, yeah. of Mr. Bubbles. Yeah, I think that's totally cool. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Um, In that case, I roll a hunt to get there. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's... Oh, um, consequences. Um, Is this controlled standard? No. Uh, I mean, risky. Uh, this is risky because um, there are dangers in the sewers. There are yeah. traps and things in the sewers. Okay. Um, you're in you're in the fancy district. People have security systems. You know, blue right. coats patrol. <clears throat> gelatinous um, cubes. Gelatinous cubes. <laughs> no. No. Uh, I don't need a devil's bag in here. We're just gonna roll it. Uh, nope. I know. <laughs> the cat's like, oh, I want some of that Johnny Walker. <laughs> oh, how's it going? <laughs> nice. Look at this. Freaking sixes, guys. Uh, but it's not a crit. Yeah, right, yeah. all right. The whiskey's working. The whiskey. whiskey, once again, everybody, uh, whiskey makes you better role-playing games. That's... Scientific fact. Yeah. Science. So th things are turning up, uh, turning up here for you. Um, yeah, so you make it, you make it to, um... You can make it into the wine cellar of this building, right? There's a blue, um, you, 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 there's a blue coat patrol in the sewers, and you, like, adeptly bypass them, right? They don't even notice you're there. And what are they doing in those sewers? There's a, there's a, they patrol, like, 
This is a like this is not a lot of crime happens in Charter Hall because people pay for police and stuff in Charter Hall. I feel Um, you. So, yeah, um, yeah, you know, you you slip by them perfectly fine, nothing, and um, yeah, you you make it, you maybe, uh, yeah, like you have to like move like a, a. false barrel barrel or like maybe it's just an empty barrel and you like you crawl in yeah you're in the wine cellar you're in this building you're you're awesome. where you're supposed to be all right well you're in the right building but you don't you know you're in the basement i have a fairly good <laughs> idea if i can get to the first floor how to get to the room where we were at because i was navigating via monkey yeah i said to get to the second floor. and anyway, you were in the first floor i need right? to go upstairs i need to go upstairs yes need to go upstairs and anytime i hear a party i go the other way <laughs> Um, so you're hunting again to get? Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 Uh, yep. risky, risky standard again. Risky. Um, detection. Um, you know, being asked like, you know, what are you, what are you doing and that kind of stuff. What are you doing? Yeah. You know, ki- I know, I know you said you're trying to avoid that. So that's a thing. Um, you succeed, but there's a consequence, right? Um, Um, what are you, you have to, um, you have to distract a guard on the way in here, or, like, someone's coming down, and Mm -hmm. so you have to spend some kind of item, or, like, you have to use, do something to distract him, and, and, like, make, and buy up his time so you can get by. Um, Okay. So I think it's going to cost you, like, you, you have to expend an item to do this, and I want to know what that looks like. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Let me look at my character. You know, like, like, or like, kick, yeah. Um. I am a hound, and I have some things. <laughs> I mean, even if it's like just rolling ammunition down and being like, "What the hell was that?" and you know, and then you sneaking by, yeah. like, so even that, like, just you have to do, so, you know, you have to do something to distract this guy to get by him, and you totally make yeah. it past the first floor up the stairs. Right? Yeah, I totally like the idea of just like dropping some ammo down the stairs or something, and it goes clink, clink, clink. Yeah, and uh, distracts him. And someone that goes to check it out, and you slip behind them, and out. Yeah, yeah, you know. Cool. Done. Didn't Spent. mean to. Yeah, sorry. I I didn't mean to like come up with that for you. I wanted... No, I was still looking at yeah. like stuff I could do, and like I then I did, and that was better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So you got your five, right? Like you, it was standard effect. You make it to the second floor. You see. Um, I think we're gonna cut back over now to to Seer, who is trying to get downstairs. Uh, and <laughs> sees and like he's getting ready to go, and then he hears like footsteps coming, so he's like hesitating, right? And then he sees you. Uh, come up the stairs what do you guys do Uh, i have yeah and i have like a bundle of like some kind of fabric under my arm that you see it's a curtain but maybe not recognizable as such as like a ball of cloth and no mr bubbles yeah Mm. you don't see mr bubbles at first and then Oh, and then I do. Then, in the dark hallway, uh, no, Bubbles Eric, comes please. out. Um, he, his eyes are like blood red, um, glowing. Um, he looks, you know, he's like grim, like his mouth is like frothing from choking and um, and what like, like quasi rapid looking. <laughs> and uh, it was like this when I found him. <laughs> yeah, and he's just, he's gonna like just run at you guys. Um, he doesn't have a voice though. Like he's basically his voice has been kind of choked out, so it just sounds like wheezy. Like you, you know, have you heard of a dog bark when it's debarked? Oh yeah. It sounds it's like really that weird. right now. It's like. Hey, hey. Have you ever heard a chicken and they put a poker on it so it like a rooster so it can't crow? No. And then it goes, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That's well, that's what it sounds. That's what it sounds like right now. Well, that's why also you shouldn't give monkeys drugs, people. Don't give monkeys drugs. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that's why you shouldn't debark your dogs. Technically, oh. it was poison, uh, and also, ah. uh, I'm I probably have a better idea of what's going on, so I'm trying to like leave. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys do? Get ahead of uh, Jewel. You guys are uh, so close to getting out of here. So close. Um, There's that yeah, rabid that's... monkey, and the chance of being detected. But so close. What do you do? Uh, sh show me the way out. I'm like running ahead of you. <laughs> yeah. Can I lead him back to the sewers? Uh, yeah, but that would require you guys to, once again, sneak past the party, um, and somehow avoid the monkey that's going to be attacking you guys. Literally, you have a monkey on your back, right? <laughs> um, All right, I you want have to, deal to with try that. to, uh, now that I'm physically in the room with the monkey, instead, I want to the try hallway, to, but yes. um, well, yeah. a hallway is a room, um, <laughs> Yeah, I guess. It's the, the room between uh, rooms. I, I want to... Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to try to attune... The astral plane of rooms. I want to try to attune to Mr. Bubbles to, like, to regain control, kick out whatever's there. Like, now I'm physically present there. What does that look like? Like... Like you're trying to speak to him, at, like, telepathically? Because you're looking like, at him? Like kneeling down on the ground and like like reaching a hand out to him, oh yeah, and um and just like thinking at him really hard and like this cool scene where like the jewels that are embedded in my face like catch the light and flash a little bit because they're spirit being charm, oh, and boy. Uh, um, yeah. So I don't know try. if this is risky or desperate. I mean, it could be desperate. I'm uh, I think it's this, it's probably risky. I mean, I can know. we make a devil's bargain to make it desperate? Oh, you want to make it desperate? Let's do it. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Because <laughs> that um, gives me a devil's bargain and an XP, and I get to pick up my resolve or something. Yeah, so. well, uh, the the thing, I mean, the devil's bargain is going to be heat again. Like, the thing that's in the monkey sees you and, like, and is, gets in your head a little bit, so whatever you can do to establish a connection, it's going to get a good read on you. I mean, Siri, you want to help me out? Um, you want you want me to choke it again? Do you have um like you're tuning right? So um, do you have like ghost oil? Would that would that be effective here? Desperate um standard. Uh, nah, that's not really a thing you want to rub on your monkey. Uh. <laughs> rub it on your monkey. Uh, I'm trying to look at the different alchemical things. See if you might have something that could help me here that's not going to choke my monkey. I mean... Please yeah, don't choke so, my monkey. Here. Yeah, you're, so, so I, I, I picture the scene something, you know, like... Um, so... So we see Jewel is is kind of like, yeah, like doing that crouch, like squatting kind of thing, being like, it's Mr. Bubbles, it's me, you know? And um, and you're trying to like attune to it. Maybe you're not even saying it's me, but the audience hears you're saying it's me because you're like speaking to it telepathically. And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's like pausing a little bit. And um, as it's like, try, it's like fighting whatever this force is. Um, but this force is very powerful. Um, so what happens? Um, see. It's fine. Four. Um, remind me again what's the, what the possible consequences of a four are for desperate. It's not good, um, right? I get hurt. Um, yeah, where is it? You do, but there's a consequence: suffer severe harm or a serious and or a serious complication. Occurs. Oh man, you know what it is? Okay. Um, it uh. It tries to it tries to fight it. Um, Mr. Bubbles tries to fight this this thing, and you're like attuning it, and you can feel this force. Um, it feels like um, it just feels like primal urges, like it just feels like a impulse, like a very strong impulse to harm. Um, is that's like the sensation you get when you when you're trying to feel um, Mr. Bubbles. And Mr. Bubbles, um, uh, 
he I mean, ends up, I do he, it. Mr. So B- yeah, you, I know. No, you, so, I, I was going to say. So I, what I, happens is I think he I think he ends up uh, biting you. And then it like halfway through the bite, it like turns off. And it feels mm-hmm. like extreme guilt. And uh, and it like looks at you and, and it's like, can't believe they did it. And I'm and, like, I'm like, I like give him a hug, even though like I'm bleeding. Yeah. And, and I'm so, like, okay, so so take take monkey me. bite. All right. Uh, um, can I resist? Eh, you know what? Let's let's resist that. Because, yeah. Okay. Because that that uh, that would be uh, at least very, level one harm. Probably level I'm two. It's probably level two harm because it's a monkey bite and it's got sharp uh, fangs. How about I click an armor and yeah. uh, say that I one harm. was. Very very thickly padded yeah um thing like yeah i mean i was thinking like i got you around the shoulder so like you probably have like a shoulder thing so yeah 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 yeah. cool all right right. yeah and so he feels really guilty but i'm like no no i'm fine i'm fine um so with the four though it um it it you see its eyes as like regular eyes now but it feels extremely like remorseful and guilty that it did that and starts to run away. No, oh, come um, back! Like it's upset with itself. Because you're like its mom, and it just bit its mom. Come back. I know. Um, so don't worry. He's not. He's not possessed anymore. He just feels extremely guilty. Uh, he'll be back. I trust uh, him to come back. Yeah. 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 He will. You know. He just. He has to go indulge his own vices. Aww. <laughs> um, he has trauma. He just suffered trauma. Um, so. Yeah. Go to that same restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> like lizards on sticks. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So your monkey's back, but not so sad. I feel like that's uh, a good I feel like that's what a four is. <laughs> okay, yeah. Seer, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's sneak out of here. Uh if I lead a prowl back out to the sewers. Yeah. Okay. I would take the stress for that, right? Like. If, yeah, yes. you would. You would eat all the stress for it if it's bad. All right. Let's do that then. All right. Prowl. Risky standard. Yeah. Are you guys out of here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going along okay. with the group action, I I assume. Joel? Yeah. Totally. Okay. Cool. And are you guys going to let Astani know? Uh. No. You let Vale? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was I was just wondering. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think, oh, that's I a think crit. It's, it's not. Oh, it's, no, it's a group action though, and you don't you can't no, no, you can't. No. You can crit on group actions, but it's not a crit because I rolled zero dice. Oh, it's, it's the lowest. lowest. Oh, <laughs> sorry, you're rolling. Oh man, this rolled two sixes. Well, I have to drink first, so that's. Oh. Let me let me. All right. Toast to that double six though. There's no stress, but you can take um you can take Joel's prowl, so you just yeah. succeed and you get out there unnoticed. So you guys creep away with that box. Yep. Oh, right. I, um, I tell her about it and how how you know it possessed Mister Bubbles or something, and it tried to attack me. Uh, maybe I I like really underplay that I like. You think? Poisoned Mister Bubbles. Well, you think that the um. Yeah, you think what possessed Mister Bubbles is like. Was a like arcane ward on the box. Hmm. Like it was a trap. Okay. Cool. Uh, also, heads up, Eric. Uh, that desperate action gave me an extra point under resolve. And I took it in a tune, so I now have two in a tune. Awesome. I'll make a note of that. This is so I can update our character sheets um, graphics. I like having the character sheet graphics. It's really a good idea. Yeah, and speaking cool. of which, I'm going to bring this over there to see them. Because they're so awesome. So, yeah. So, good job, everybody. Um, I think uh, Heist is over. What we're going to do is, because it's 2 o'clock, yeah. we're going to go on our first break. And okay. we'll, we'll come back Actually, and we'll, we'll do downtime. Breaks on I know. Time? I know. <gasps> it's freaking crazy. So we're going to take a break, uh, come back, and, and continue. So thank you guys so back. much. <laughs> To the camera, Baya. Look at the camera. Aww.